Any party does not endorse the use of cheek art or putting sports balls on your regular board. We will not be held responsible for your frustration if you do. Please use these designs only when requested to prepare sports-themed designs for special events or birthdays. Paint a tiger. It's easier. Hi, it's Denise from Paint a Party. I'm going to do a flaming soccer ball tutorial. And you could also use this um, concept with baseballs and basketballs, of course. But today we're going to do a soccer ball. So I'm using my homemade split. It's not much of a split. It's white with a little bit of pearl tag black um, at the end of it. And then we're going to use a flame cake from tag and then a little bit of wolf black that I've just repotted here in this in this container. So let's get going. Okay I've loaded my brush and wiped it off on my towel so it's not there's not too much water on the brush. And I have a, another video that shows how to load a one-stroke uh, cake that you can watch. I'm just going to grab a little bit of the black on the end of the brush just to outline and kind of give a 3D effect to the soccer ball. And then I just take my brush and rotate it around. And if you want to make a smaller ball, like on a smaller cheek, or make it look more baseball size, then you can. You can see that I'm just able to go right over it and round out the ball. And if you want to, you can use a pouncer, of course. Um, but I have the brushes right there, and so I like to use them. So now I'm dipping my brush in, loading. I'm going to load, because I'm using an angle brush, I'm going to load the darker color at the top. Okay, and then I'm going to start kind of two-thirds away around the ball, and I'm going to go on the tip of my brush and just barely make an edge, and then I'm going to stop about right here. Okay, and then I'm going to do a wiggle like this, and then trail, twist my brush and trail out. Okay, do the same thing over on this side. Keep the dark on the outside. And then I'm going to make a separate trail. Okay. So now my, my middle's had a chance to dry. Uh, the ball part of it has had a chance to dry. So I'm going to make the soccer ball. And the reason I'm doing that instead of finishing my flames is so that I can overlap the actual design. So I'm loading up a number two. I like the number two because it makes a little bit smaller lines in between the soccer ball. Okay, so find the middle of your ball. And then we're going to make a five-pointed star because the shape of the soccer ball, the dark parts, is um, a pentagon. So we're going to come out and make... It's just the same shape that you make when you make starbursts. So now we're going to connect those and make that cute little pentagon house shape. Okay, so I'm going to fill that in with the side of my brush. Okay, and then I wanted to show you one other trick to make your soccer ball look more like a soccer ball. If you notice, there's an angle right here. We're going to actually repeat that angle. Instead of making a little triangle like this, we're going to repeat this angle right here and go a little deeper with this. Okay, notice the difference? So that's because on a soccer ball, you would have a six-sided shape right here. You would have a six-sided shape right there. So we're going to be conscious of this shape also. And then one other trick to make your soccer ball look more realistic is to kind of poof this out a little bit past the circle. That way it looks stitched and puffed up a little bit. Okay, that was a tip I learned from Christina Davison. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. And we'll come right back. Okay, so I've finished filling all of those in. 
And you can see how they kind of are all at the same angle coming in. And it makes it more pleasing, I think. It looks more like a soccer ball. So now I'm just going to kind of flick around to join them. If I did a big circle, I'd lose that puffiness. So I'm just going to flick just enough to get that illusion that it's joined together. Okay, so I'm going to reload just a little bit. My brush, just, just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is kind of give the illusion that the fire is coming up into the ball. And I got this from a digital graphic. I thought it was cool. So I'm going to come in here. And it's okay if I'm going to track some of this black because it's going to make the flames look even cooler. So we're going to join in here and just kind of... My brush is, is parallel to the paper, or to the skin, obviously. And I'm just literally like dragging into here. And it's cool because it does pick up some of that black and give it kind of this cool look. And then let me do one here on the outside. Cool. Okay, and then if you want to, you can pounce kind of little, little texture in here, here and there. So there's the finished product, if you want. If you want to get a little more tribal, you can come in. A little more tribal with your flames. You can come in with some black. And kind of join in with some of these little black stripes that you've made. So you can kind of do this. Make some use with your black. And then wipe it off a little bit on your towel and kind of drag those. Drag those back in. Cool. So you can add a little more, another layer of texture if you have time. So, as always, I'm going to add some pictures at the end of different design ideas that you can have with this and uh, hope you can use it this summer. Thanks!